The battle of the attack ads continues. Nationals fired back with a reworking of Labour's latest attack video released exclusively to News Hub. Christopher Luxon was far from the front lines today, though, visiting some of the National Party's safest territory, the farm. Political reporter Lloyd Burr was more, uh, has more. Politicians will do utterly anything to milk a vote, or at least try to. Luxon getting dirty down on a goat farm, a safe demographic for the Nats. But can he be a friend of farmers while pledging climate action as one of his top priorities? What are you personally doing um, to address climate change? You were asked this last night. I'll give you another crack at it. Yeah, well, look, as I said to you, you know, um, we've been, you know, as a family, we've embraced recycling like many New Zealand families have over the last decade. We take it really seriously. You've pushed back your agricultural emissions um, scheme and you're raiding the climate fund um, and you're the friend of farmers and yet you've made it your personal pledge to address climate change. Yeah, we do, are. Do all of those things add up? Yes, they do. Yeah, we're deeply committed to the goals and as I said last night, we have a different approach to how to do that. After goat cuddles in South Auckland, it was on to Nationals Heartland. Visiting Telford Agricultural College in Southland. So what's the name of your dog? Uh, Glenn. Glenn. Oh, oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> Friendly with the farming students, but on the campaign front line, firing back at Labor's attack ad with an attack ad. Labor has been wasting taxpayer money for way too long. Throwing barbs at Labor's spending on consultants, ministries spending large on farewell parties, and Auckland's ghost light rail. This is going to be the battle of the attack ads, is it? Oh no, look, I mean, we want to discuss the big issues that are important to New Zealanders, but where the records are not straight and square, uh, we're going to correct it. The Labour leader making no apologies either. Do you like long distance oh, no. combat or like close up combat? <laughs> Combatant himself for starting what could be an ongoing ugly advert back and forth. Is it your strategy now to ratchet up uh, the attacks on the Nats policy? See the start of the stand up. Uh, we have been very clear over the last few weeks that the National Party's numbers don't add up and that there is huge risk in that for New Zealanders. They've got no record to run on, they've got no ideas to take the country forward. It's not surprising, it goes personal and gets a bit attacky. Do attack ads actually work or are they just desperate? Uh, I believe it's important that New Zealanders know what's at stake at this election. Luxon looking at a different kind of steak, or lamb chop in this case, planning his next farm visit already. I'll come back and share a sheet with you, mate. We'll do it together. Southland giving Luxon's campaign its own spit and polish. Well, OK, Lloyd, what is Luxon doing down south? Yeah, well, he's a real whistle-stop tour, to be honest. We're on the ground for less than 24 hours. We spent the afternoon here in Belclutha, head to Invercargill tonight and spend the um, morning in Invercargill tomorrow before heading back to Auckland. This is real National Party heartland. They love him here. I think he's come down here just to escape the cities, get a bit of fresh air, uh, to be honest, and have a bit of a morale boost. In Invercargill tomorrow, there's going to be a bit of a policy announcement. And, Sam, a little birdie tells me he'll be going to a cheese roll factory. He's actually going to be making some cheese rolls, which is exactly what I'm off to find for my dinner right now. Switching out from the sausage rolls, at least. Uh, Lloyd, thanks so much.